Yo, what is up? Good morning, everyone. Hope you're well. I slept good last night, eight hours all the way through. Expecting to wake up this morning feeling great, but I felt a bit off, to be honest. I didn't feel great yesterday, so I took a rest day. And today, just still don't feel 100%. I had a headache. I was thinking, oh, I don't want to take another day off the gym. So I just went to the store, got some coconut water and some watermelon. And I put some salt on the watermelon and I had that about 30 minutes ago and already I feel so much better so it was probably hydration so if you're ever feeling a little bit shitty one of the first things you want to look at is hydration because if you're dehydrated you will feel like crap and if you just get yourself hydrated it's gonna make such a big difference all right and when it comes to hydrating don't just drink plain water. Like just drinking more water alone is really bad advice because when you drink more water, you start to pee more. And when you pee more, you're essentially excreting electrolytes. So you wanna make sure you're getting more sodium and more potassium, which is why coconut water is a really good option to hydrate. Anyway, I'm in a bit of a rush because I gotta get my hair cut. So I'll see you at the gym. It's a beautiful day. Again. Okay guys, no cameraman today. So it's literally just me and you. And I was in a bit of a predicament of what to train today because I was gonna train arms yesterday, but I took a I took a rest day because I didn't feel too good. Some days you just got to listen to your body. Anyway, so today I was like, well, do I train arms or do I train legs? I'm not sure. I need to be careful with my legs at the moment because of my knee injury. So I'm just going to do maybe arms and legs, to be honest, a bit of both. I'll just see how my leg session goes, but we might have to switch to arms halfway through but either way I'm starting on calves because that's my biggest priority at the moment is I need to get my calves bigger now I don't really like doing a calf raise on a leg press but in this gym there's no calf raise machine so I don't really have a choice so beggars can't be choosers we're doing calf raises on the leg press. Oh man, for me calf raise is one of the most painful exercises. Okay, set two. So on this, I'm really feeling the stretch at the bottom and then I'm just coming up to halfway. I'm not fully contracting all the way up to the top. I saw a video, Jeff Nipp had made one about how the lower portion of the movement apparently is better for hypertrophy than the upper portion it's too early to tell i've only been doing this for about one or two months but at this point i'll try anything to try and grow these bad boys Okay, set three. Mm. 
Ah. Oh, it burns. I think I might do five sets on here today just because I really want to focus on growing my calves. So, set four. Set do a drop set actually uh, why not while we're here ah. okay so first set this is just 60 kg. Just gonna see how this feels. Remember, my whole goal with this is more rehab for my knee, more so than a proper leg workout. Oh, not bad. Okay, set two. I'm just gonna stick at this weight for today. And really the whole goal with this is just, just to get my knee under some load and working, but not to the point where it causes any pain. Like one of the worst things you can do with an injury is just rest indefinitely like short you need to uh short term rest is a viable solution but you can't rest forever at a certain point you have to get the muscle or the joints or the injury moving and that's just really the whole goal of today is to place it under some load, get it moving, but not to the point where I'm causing any pain. Uh. 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 
<sighs> okay, set three. Just blasting through these with short rest periods because they're not really pushing any weight. But what I really am focusing on is full range of motion. So when I come down at the bottom, I'm coming all the way down, literally past the grass. and can't get any further than this. And a lot of my training, I like to do that. But especially when it comes to rehab, I think it's especially important because that's where you're working your tendons and ligaments in the extended position. And that's likely where they're going to be the weakest. Stop there. Hmm. Okay, time for leg extension. I'd say this is one of the best exercises for quad development. You want to make sure you're getting a full stretch at the bottom now. Like this is as far as it'll go back. So I can't get it back anymore. But the more of a stretch you can get at the beginning portion of the movement, the more you're going to get out of the exercise. Hmm. Okay, set two. Okay, set three. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm still not feeling pretty, still not feeling that good. I think this is going to be my last exercise because I'm struggling to be honest. I don't know what's up with me today. Okay, set two. Two more sets to go. Come on. Mm. 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 
Okay, last set. Come on, James. for that. Now right now I'm just getting some sunlight in the eyes uh, before I go for dinner. Typically around sunset or sunrise you'll notice the sun is a lot more red and red light is very healing for the body. Also around that time it's helped to ingrain your circadian rhythm so your body knows what time of day it is and you're going to sleep better at night. Now as for today's session, certainly not going to um, sit the guy in the background. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> as for today's session, certainly not going to be breaking any records. Wasn't a great session to be honest. Um, I don't know why I feel so off. But you know, some days you're not gonna have a good session. Some days you're not gonna feel like it. But regardless, I still, it was still a worthwhile session. I don't regret training. I can't ever remember regretting training, to be honest. So I'm still glad I showed up. I'm still glad I got a session in. You know, you're not always gonna have a 10 out of 10 session. You're not always gonna feel just 100% on point some days you're just gonna have to show up and put the work in even though you don't feel like it and especially when you're cutting and when your calories are low this is gonna happen and this is probably why I feel the way I do is because I'm doing quite an aggressive cut at the moment and when your calories are low your body just hurts more motivations lower everything is a lot worse when you're in a calorie deficit but that's why I'm doing it for a short period of time you know I'm just gonna do it for a couple of weeks quite harsh but just get it out of the way anyway i'm about to fix all that now with some all you can eat steak 